Things the modern woman should remember. There are plenty more fish in the sea, but the deeper you trawl, the uglier they get. You can tell a lot about a man from his fingers. Look for a ring. The way to his heart may be through his stomach, but some other organs are more easily accessible. Oh. Uh, <laughs> coffee? Mm, please. <laughs> Not for me, thanks. Mum will have a cognac. You make me sound like an alcoholic. A brandy after a meal isn't going to lead to the lost weekend, is it? It depends how often you eat. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Cognac then, Rosa. Oh, all right, go on. Just a wee one for the digestion, you know. <laughs> that was a nice piece of fish. Yeah, he likes a seafood, does Paul? Mm. I'm not a big fish fan myself, but your father's right. He did it very nicely. He didn't like it? No, I enjoyed it. I did. It's, well, you know what I'm like. It doesn't mind fish. As long as it doesn't taste too, too fishy. fishy. Oh. <laughs> the point is, are you listening? I'm listening. The point is, he's got talent. And that's a gift, not something to be sniffed at. Who's sniffing? Mum just saying that men with fish fingers don't grow on trees. <laughs> that a piece of old Italian wisdom, is it? From an old Italian whiz. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke. Talent is a rare thing, especially in a man. I'll bear it in mind. You too. Hey, what's it got to do with me? What? All I'm saying is, if there's someone, you have to think about these things. And what would make somebody think that there might be? Someone. Mum? We were round at your aunt's the other evening and Dominic came round to visit Francesca. And? And he said that you told him that you were seeing someone and that you were uh, going to bring them to the wedding. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. I knew you would bite my head off like you usually do. I thought, well, I'll just wait and meet him at the wedding, but... Since you brought it up. What? What do you mean, what? Who is he? Where does he come from? What does he do? Look, Mum, there's just a few things you need to know about Dominic. He's Stuart. Pardon? Kara's new man, Stuart. Well, let's hear about Stuart then. You seem to have had a good time. Yeah, Mum had a great time. Can we have her over next week so we can invent a phantom pregnancy to go with my phantom romance? She'll be over the moon. Look, you're about to tell her that Dominic's been trying to get off with you before his nuptials with our favourite niece. Uh, which is true. Maybe she ought to know. Yeah, right. And why don't you just roll a hand grenade down the aisle on the big day? It'll have much the same effect. What am I supposed to do now? Ask Stuart if he wants to go to a wedding. Look, you'll never hear the end of it if you go on your own. You know what our family's like. <laughs> and what if he says no? What if he says yes? Oh, just ask him. Hey, all right, sweetheart. Can't tear yourself away from us, can you? <laughs> Hello there. Full house today. Expenses day. Well, you better look busy. Yeah, otherwise you'll be out, eh? How exactly would you know what busy looked like, Forbes? Was there uh, something you wanted? Um, a quick word with Stuart. What? Well, I don't want to interrupt you, though. I'm nearly finished this. I just wanted to check a few things about the shadowing day we did. Um, I was going downstairs for a coffee when I'm done here. Well, I could catch you down there in a few minutes. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Don't be a stranger now. Didn't be stranger if she tried. What was that all about? Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Maybe it's about that crash you seem to run here. Oh, piss off. You screw up and we all start to look bad. Hey, 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 come on. That's all I'm saying. This guy Dominic was the one who was hassling in the pub that night. Yeah. We grew up together. His dad knew my dad, you know. We went out for a few months when we were teenagers, but... Well, he's had this weird, possessive thing going on about me ever since. 
Oh my God, I'm making it sound like a Michael Douglas movie. But he's the one getting married. I'm not, that's why it's so crazy. I had to tell him I was seeing someone just to get him off my back. But now I've, I've kind of put myself in the spot. You have to show and tell. It's dreadful, I feel like an idiot. And I don't know anyone else to ask. Look, if you don't fancy it, just say. I don't want to twist your arm or anything. No, it's not that. But, but you would be saving my life, honestly. Well... well you don't have to if you don't want to. No, no, but, no. I mean, only if you wanted to. There'll be food. I mean, there'll be a nice meal. And well, you might enjoy it. Yeah, the thing well, is... Well, maybe not enjoy. But it might not be too bad. Cara, listen, uh, it sounds like it might be good fun. But I'd need to sort some stuff out first before I could say definitely. Yeah. Oh, oh Dennis. D babysitting, of course. Yeah, I understand. Um, that's fair enough. I could let you know later today. Okay. Good. Listen, whatever. You know, don't worry about it. Uh, thanks. I, I don't want to... You know what. Well, thanks anyway. No, but I, I mean, thanks. Whatever. Okay. Okay. And how's it going to look when she starts handing out redundancy notices? Where's that going to leave you? I'm not any happier about all that than you are. But this isn't about work, is it? It's about her. It doesn't matter. Four around here aren't going to make that distinction. It's not how it is that's the problem, Stuart. It's how it seems. That's what worries me. Well, I'm not looking for special treatment. I'm not spying for her. It's not as if it's a date or anything. I'm just... Well, she's just asking me to do her a favour. All right, Luke, you want to help her, but you want to make it clear to people that you're just doing her a favour, right? Right. And that all you're doing is helping her out of an awkward spot because you like her, right? Right. Well, if you're going to do this, we have to make absolutely clear that people know exactly where you stand. Yes. What you need is an agent. Hold on, hold on. I don't think that's unreasonable. Oh, really? Actually, Mel, uh, I don't mind. I think it's fair enough. Of course it is. Look, we have to consider that my friend here runs the risk of being thought of as a management stooge. No offence. And what about Cara's professional well, neutrality? Don't you think she's risking compromising that? Eh? That's why this negotiation is so important, see? No, I don't see. Cost of dry cleaning a suit? OK. Hiring of a babysitter? OK. Taxi fares to and from? Fine. But I don't see any reason for the champagne. Actually, neither do I. He doesn't understand. That's why I'm here. Look, um, champagne is a gesture, a token. I mean, it's important that we seal the understanding we've got here. But we don't even have an understanding yet. There's a few things we need to clear up first. Like what? What's this suit like, for one thing? Looks great. Black, single-breasted, lovely material, Italian car. <laughs> it's a classic. What else? Can he dance? Dance? <laughs> oh, can he dance? Listen, this is the Fred Astaire of football writers. The Beckenbauer of the ballroom. I mean, he covers the floor the way he covers the beautiful game. I mean, this boy's comfortable with everything, from Scottish standards right the way through to free-flowing Latin American. He's exaggerating. You're not helping. Listen, he could be Wayne Sleep, for all I know. But I still say he's not worth half a dozen bottles of champagne. Four. One. Three, no less. One bottle of a single malt. 21-year-old Springbank. Bottle of the Springbank and he gets a haircut. Deal. You're a very, very sad man, do you know that? Oh, stop complaining, you ungrateful sword. I've just negotiated your expenses, plus a fantastic bottle of malt whiskey for us. Us? I'm the one that's going to the wedding. Aye, but I'm the one that's going to have to lend you my best suit now. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I thought it would be awkward for you to negotiate yourself, you know. Bet if I did it, good cop, bad cop kind of thing. I wasn't sure I'd be able to pull it off. What did you think? Oh, I think you managed to pull it off all right. Really? <laughs> Listen, you better watch your time. What? Yeah. 
How's it going? Uh, All right. Good. So, are we going to have a result soon? Result of what? Of all Miss Rossi's snooping about. Is it true she's already got a hit list? I really can't talk about it. Made you sign the official secrets act, has she? It's not like that. It's just confidential. Yeah. So we'll get our jotters. I didn't expect to see you so soon. You're missing us already. I had to pick up a dress. A dress? Yeah, I'm going to a wedding. You dispatched me off so fast, I barely had time to pack a clean pair of knickers, never mind a wearing outfit. So are you enjoying being home then? Ten weeks, six to go, then I'm home. It's not the same round here without you. I didn't ask to go. You suited the job. No, oh, it suited you. When you get back, things will be better, I promise you. No, don't promise, Nick. It just makes things worse. <clears throat> I miss you. Let's stick to the facts. What do you think? Well, the initial analysis seems clear. Underinvestment, overstaffing, dinosaur management, seen it all before. Yeah, but if we put in the new technology and cut staffing back, do you think we risk compromising the quality of the paper? No, it may change the character of it, but that's not the same thing. The quality will improve. And maybe a shift in the readership demographic could be good. Change of emphasis. Just go back up and liberate the bastards. Now, drink. Your place. I'm glad you came back up. Down. Sorry? I came down. I was in Glasgow, so I came back down. Why is it London always assumes that everyone's coming up when they visit here? Well, up or down, it's nice to see you again. You know, when you get back, things will be different, I promise. You know, I have missed you. I have to tell you, I did, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just not been the same round here without you. <laughs> I mean... Just looking at you now, my heart's racing. You know, you still do that to me. It's, it's a chemical thing, it's like a drug. Perhaps it's just your hormones, Nick. That's it. The evil pink curly monster's gonna get you. <laughs> I've got the tennis. Ah. What's gonna happen? I like her. She's nice. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Bugger, isn't it? You like her, she likes you. No wonder you look so miserable. <laughs> you nervous? A bit. I've been to a wedding for years. I don't want to make an arse of myself. Especially not in front of Cara? Not in front of anyone. I'm supposed to act like we're a real couple. You're worried that's going to be difficult? Maybe that it's going to be too easy. Stuart Doll, I know you don't like changing the habits of a lifetime, but if I could make a proposal, maybe if you just stopped fretting about it, you might actually end up enjoying yourself. You're right. Another triumph for psychosarcastic therapy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a evil perm gun. <laughs> hey, you can't eye bind your dad, that's cheating. Choo. Sucker for me in a suit, weren't you?
How are you doing? I'll be all right as long as nobody talks to me. No chance. Look. <laughs> Marissa! <laughs> and George, the human tripod. <laughs> what? I wonder if he's being a true Scot. I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> Hello, Marissa. Nice hat. Thanks. I've been looking for you for ages. Mum's been going on about some bloke you've got. Why didn't you tell me? Darling. Oh, God, Marissa, it's such a long story. I'll tell you later. Darling. He's making us here. Fantastic. Marissa. And no one's mentioned Marissa. the Simon thing, have they? Only you so far. Marissa. Is he going to brush his hair? What is it? The girls. Do you think that's safe? Oh, I'm a woman. <laughs> 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 Still, that's sisterly for you. She's got the kids to create a disturbance so that no one notices you. <laughs> or mention the Simon thing. Cara, you're only a guest. You're not meant to be nervous. You're worse than Dominic. <sighs> what if he doesn't turn up? He will. Won't he? Yeah. One day, Dennis, my boy, your balls will drop. Then we'll see who's laughing. Ho, ho, ho! Your dad better hurry up or he'll be late as usual. He's probably forgotten how to do his tie or something. Yeah. What? What's wrong with it? Nothing. You look great. But what? The trousers don't fit properly, I know. I keep having to hook them up. They're fine. Are you nervous? I keep thinking I've forgotten something. Just don't forget to enjoy yourself, OK? Right. That's me. <laughs> Bye, Dad. OK, look, take these. In case there's any snogging. And um, these. No. In case there's anything else. Kirsty, it's a wedding, not a date. I'm going to church. A lot can happen at a wedding. Better safe than sorry. Now, listen. Have a nice time. Now, don't hurry back in my account, OK? Be as late as you like. Thanks. I'll see you. Cara. Hope he gets here soon. Aren't you missing something? Well, There's a documentary about Bolivia on BBC Two, but I set the video. I mean, you seem to be a little down in numbers. <laughs> Actually, Cara's miss him now. All right, Stuart. Found it all right then. No problem. You look fantastic. Thank you. You don't look too shabby yourself. I don't make an effort. Don't want to embarrass anyone, do I? Dominic, you remember Stuart? Thanks for the invitation. Don't mention it. I love weddings. The atmosphere is always so romantic. It makes me want to rush down the aisle myself. Well, not just myself, of course. You can't have a wedding without a bride, can you? No. Right, well, I think I'd better go and see if mine is on her way yet. Excuse me. Good luck. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, me too. So how did we meet? What? In case anybody asks, I want to get my story straight. Oh, um, at the paper, I suppose. <sighs> Was it love at first sight? I don't want to buy that. Lost up for a sight then. All right. Then you became infatuated and wooed me by email. Wooed? Yeah, it's important that I was wooed. What? So you were wooed and then went over when? When we went to the pictures and you cried. This is Glasgow, remember? You can pick the film then. The Lion King. You're weird. What's your favorite thing about me? That and my dress sense. <laughs> what a 
about you? What's my favorite thing about you? My driving. What else? My tattoo. Where is it? Where do you want it? Let us pray. Father, by your plan, man and woman are united, and married life has been established. Obviously, but out of practice. The one blessing that no, I'm practicing, that's me. Don't tell my mum. <laughs> I ask you to state your intentions to live in lifelong fidelity to each other and to God, in whose image you have been made. Dominic Di Marco, do you freely and willingly take Francesca Cassano here present for your lawful wife, according to the laws of God and of Holy Mother Church? I do. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I now declare you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. comes the Spanish Inquisition. Italian interrogation, you mean? Hope you've got your story straight. <gasps> Hello, darlings! Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. You all look wonderful! Thanks. <gasps> and this handsome young man must be the Stuart I've been hearing so much about. Uh, Stuart, this is my mother. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Rossi. Now I know where Cara gets her good looks from. <laughs> and this is my dad. Nice to meet you, son. And don't bother flattering me. I know flannel when I hear it. <laughs> I know it too, but the difference is I like it. <clears throat> oh, never mind him. Come over here and let me find out all about you. Mum. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'm only borrowing him for a minute. I'll bring him back. Don't worry. If she tries anything, I'll shout for the priest. <laughs> That's great, thanks. OK. Now, just the bride and groom. The bridesmaids can be down the front. Are you thinking about Simon? Nah. <laughs> I got over him years ago. He's one of those perennial classics, though, isn't it? Dumped at the altar. It wasn't quite at the altar, was it? <laughs> Close enough. Maybe it would have been worse if you had gone through with it. Maybe it would have been better if I just never met him. Oh. Poor mother, the soul of discretion. One last note, everyone's all together, smiling, camera. Thank you. He's a nice chap, don't you think? Very charming. Well, he charmed you. Mm. And that takes some doing.
It's not bad, is it? I told you you'd get a good feed out of it. Aye, that was the clincher, right enough. <laughs> so didn't you feel any pangs watching your old boyfriend go down the aisle? <laughs> Only for Francesca. What about your dark history? Is it full of women? No. Not just two. Pauline Calhoun and Cheval. I'm not really very qualified to be playing your boyfriend, am I? Just use your imagination. Remember, uh, could all come back to hunt me. It'll be fine. Trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll all agree that on an occasion such as today, there's nothing like a handsome groom. I know, Dominic, he's nothing like a handsome groom. Una mattina, disassociado. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Una mattina, disassociado. Lo trovato in basso. Oh, partigiano, portami via. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, partigiana, portami via. Lo trovato lì in basso. Mi porterai la sua montagna. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Mi porterai la sua montagna. So Chuck saying to himself, oh, oh no. Down in evidence, I'm going down guaranteed until here's one Judah saying to the other one. Yep, a good goat would do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you train to be a football writer? Oh yes. No, I had to take classes in drinking, swearing and extending metaphors. It was a very tough course. A lot of people couldn't last the pace, they dropped out and went into politics. <laughs> But writing, to be a writer, now, oh, that is such a talent. Don't you think, Cara? Yes. <gasps> to work with words. I just do football, really. Oh. Aye, uh, what about your book? Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that'll be something different if I ever get it finished. Covering all those matches must take up a lot of time. Well, it's not so much that, really, as Dennis. Oh, tennis. Oh, you do that too? No, no, Dennis. My son. You have a little boy? Yes. Yes, he's seven. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> does anyone fancy a drink? I was just going to the bar. No, thank you. Double vodka and coke, please. Can you get me a big bottle of champagne? So, he has a son. Dennis. Dennis. And Dennis's mother, are they married, her and him? They were. Divorced, divorced with a child. Oh, Cara, why must you always make things so complicated? I mean, a man who would break one marriage, how could he be trusted in another? Why is it always this way with you? It's self-destructive. <sighs> Stuart's wife died in an accident a few years ago. Oh. He's been bringing up Dennis on his own ever since. All right, Stuart, how are you bearing up? Fine until now. Why? What's happened? I mentioned Dennis. Now look, Florence Nightingale. The car is telling them my life story. <laughs> Unavoidable, I'm afraid. If the family decide to like you, you know they're going to really like you. Oh, that sounds ominous. Are you not drinking? No, I'm on duty. That's taking it awful seriously. Well, seriously, as Cara's taking it. It's obviously important to her, all this. I don't want to screw it up. Oh, she's never been comfortable with all this big family politics, Cara. I mean, I'm not keen at it myself. I don't take it to heart like she does. I think she always feels she has to prove herself to them. I mean, that's a terrible pressure. So what she left home and headed south. She said she went off after a guy. Oh, Simon, you. Yeah. Did something happen? About four years ago, they got engaged. 
She had the whole wedding arranged, church dress, reception, the lot. And? He did a runner a week before the big day. He left her to sort it all out. She hasn't heard from him since. I was just saying what a nice change you are from the usual degenerate type Cara seems to attract. Did it go? Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Did you see what it was? Where it went? Hmm? Cara. I know what it was. <laughs> it must have been that kiss I blew to you. What a romantic he is. Oh, isn't he just? <laughs> he thinks of everything. Well, I think it's about time I let him sweep me onto the dance floor. What do you say, big boy? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> what is it? The sketch, were you? Be prepared. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I can't believe we got away with it. Thanks to you. Quick thing. Quite so slow off the mark yourself. I was just backing you up. Good teamwork, that's all. I think we just invented a new party game. What's that? Saved by the snow. I think a worse thing. Princess danced and they danced and they danced all night long. And the princess told the prince what her wicked stepmother had done. And the prince swore that he would get the princess's golden key back from the dragon's lair. And so, one day... Are you tired? Bored. Do you not like the story? It's all right, but that stuff doesn't happen in life, does it? It's all made up. Okay, it's true. I haven't come across too many princesses on my travels. And I have been on the lookout. So what do you want to do? Let's have a real story. Oh, and what would you suggest? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, that infamous piece of gritty urban realism. What? Nothing. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory it is. But just one chapter. You ready? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie That's amore When the stars start to shine <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> so am I. What about you, Mr Popular? I've had worse evenings. Yeah, me too. Thanks for inviting me. That? was my idea. Uh, you suggested it. It was me who invited. You mean bribe? <laughs> no, I invited. He extorted. Not me. My manager. That's still extortion. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart? It is you. I, I thought I'd seen you earlier. Gordon Lennox? I live next door to Siobhan's parents. Of course. Gordon, how are you? <laughs> oh, black eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where are uh, you at the wedding? Oh, yes, yes, the, the groom's father's an old friend. 
And and you know them, how? He shagged the bride's cousin. <laughs> he shagged the groom. Yeah, well, better be off then. I'll uh, give your regards to Alex and Moira, shall I? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Bye. Nice to see you. Oh, come on, you pair. You've caused enough trouble. Back in. Who's that? Nobody important. All right, George. Enjoying yourself? Aye, very nice, Dominic. It's a lovely do. What could be the money we spent in it? <laughs> Still, once in a lifetime, isn't it? That's the theory. Congratulations. Thanks. Francesca's very beautiful. What a lucky man. Yeah. She's gorgeous. A gem. That's what she is, a gem. You must be very happy. <laughs> so, uh, how's our Cara these days? He's fine. And are you happy? You and her, does she keep you happy? Oh, bet. She's not changed much. Really? Yeah. That's why I'm happier with Fran. What you see is what you get, none of that nonsense. What nonsense? <laughs> Never knowing where you stand. She's always blowing hot and cold up when one minute she's hot to trot, the next minute, back to the Ice Maiden Act. Things like that don't change. I bet you she's still up to her old tricks. Aye. Her old tricks are very good. That trick she does with the ice is unbelievable. Eh? That trick with the ice cube. <laughs> what trick? Oh, isn't that what you're talking about? No, I wasn't. Listen, what does she do with the ice cube? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I can't tell you. It's not fair. Anyway, you probably wouldn't believe me. I would. Well, let's just say, the first time we ever, you know, absolutely unforgettable experience. I've never had anything like it. And what about the ice cube? Just between you and me, right? Right. Well, I'll look in the lounge and you look upstairs. You're useless. Look, Roberto, no disrespect, but when it comes to food, I do know what I'm talking about. And all I'm saying is that even though proteins and carbohydrates are important when it comes to an athlete's diet, I'm they're not, not everything. talking carbohydrates and proteins. I'm talking chicken and beef and the pasta. dance as well. <laughs> he is not natural. Oh, he is. Natural but rare, I think. It'll be all that rhythm, hip movement. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, if only I could find a man who could do that and still had the stamina to strip the whole willow, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dom's lovely, but well, to tell you the truth, his 40s more the dashing point, such <laughs> I know. Talk of the devil. You all right? Fine. Where have you been? Mingling. Where? Uh, in the toilet. Dom, are you sure you're all right? Fine. Well, let's move around and make sure we see everybody then. Come on. Italian football has proven the best in Europe throughout history. Well, you could argue that at a national level, Germany have a better record. A club level, Spain have a comparable record. It's widely agreed that the best European club side came out of Madrid rather than Milan. In fact, I remember 11 guys from here gubbing <laughs> the best Italy could offer in Lisbon in 1967. Yeah, a moment, a second, a lock, and then nothing again forever. How can you compare the two? They're completely different. You're insulting me by even mentioning them in the same breath. Oh, boy. Ah, you insult me too much! You know neither no food nor... Hey, calm down, Roberto. Thank you. It's not getting excited about it. Man, man, man!
Time somebody shut up that old boar. Anyway, a wedding isn't really a wedding without a good fight, is it? <laughs> but he decked the group. <laughs> it was only Dominic. <laughs> he was so drunk I could have decked him. <laughs> He's the one who ought to be apologising. He was a disgrace. Yeah, he kept mumbling something about ice cubes. Oh, Joe. I think your bloke handled himself quite well. You think? You know what Francesca's mum said? She said if he's willing to come to blows over football and food, he must have a bit of Italian blood in him somewhere. <laughs> Go and find him. Tell him not to worry. No harm done. Mario Chida. Lastro da Here we go. Really? Just get a coat? Yeah. Oh, God, I'm really sorry. It all happened so quickly. I, I should have seen it coming or something. Honestly, I feel terrible. Let me see. No, I'm sorry. I should have known something like this was bound to happen. I've had a good time. It's still me who should apologize. I'm the one who dragged you into this. You don't need to pretend anymore. I'm not. Looks like Dominic will be starting his honeymoon in the doghouse. <laughs> Let's hope Fran keeps him there. Doesn't deserve any better. Ah, oh, he's a nurse, but he's harmless. He was saying to me how he saw you in a whole new light. Since when? Since he had a wee chat with Stuart. You all going to Park Circus? Yeah. But well, you've got to come in and collect your wages of sin first. <laughs> Two. Two. Weddings. Yeah, they're all right, really, aren't they? Yeah. I wouldn't mind one of them one day. <coughs> you were a big hit. <laughs> In more ways than one. With who? Everybody. Dominic. Everybody that mattered. That are my fee. I think you're a good value. Can I ask you something? Do you think I look happy? <laughs> 